Hi, I'm Allison from the Mansfield Public Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own mason jar tissue holder. The supplies you're going to need for this craft are listed on the screen. For our first step, we're going to go ahead and paint a couple of thin layers of chalk paint all over the jar. Make sure to include the bottom and paint all the way up to where the lid is. A best practice is to make sure you're not making your layers too thick and allowing the jar to dry for a few minutes before adding another layer. Once it is completely dry, we'll be ready to start the next step, which is distressing the jar. Now that everything is completely dry, you can take whatever you have, I'm using steel wool but you can use sandpaper as well, and just lightly scratch the paint wherever you want. This is the fun part of this. So keep going until you can see it's looking worn and antiqued in a few places, and until you're satisfied with the result. Now we're going to take the jar lid and remove the metal disc so you have just the ring left. What you'll do is trace and cut a circle out of the foam or leather that you're using and the end result should be a circle that fits snugly inside the ring. Using an X-Acto knife, cut two slits crossing each other so that you end up with four flaps and an opening where the tissue can be pulled out. Next, we're going to screw the lid onto the jar so that I can see where I'm going to put my twine. And I'm going to start right in this ridge underneath the lid and in that lip between two spaces. I'm going to put some hot glue right there and then some twine and just begin to wrap. When you have the twine the way you want, cut it and glue it down. From here, you can play with what looks good to you. I went with some bright orange flowers that would pop against the white paint. I clipped the stems off in order to make the flowers a little flatter to layer and glue down. Get creative. This is where you can really personalize it to your liking. For the last part, we will be folding and loading the tissue into the jar. Now some tissue brands already make their tissue in a tube, and if you have that, great. But if you don't have the tubed kind, don't worry. You can still use the plain rectangular shaped tissue. Now what we're going to do is take the stack out of the box, and don't worry, you're not going to be using the whole box right away. Just take out a stack that's about a half an inch to an inch thick. The trick here is to make sure the top piece stays on top. Now what you're going to do is fold the tissue stack in half, making sure that top piece of tissue stays at the top and is a little bit loose. If you have too much tissue to fold it comfortably, then just take a little bit more out of your stack and repeat the process. Here I had a little bit too thick, so I removed some pieces and then started again. you can insert the tissue into the jar and feed your top piece through the slits that you made and then screw the lid on. Pull the first tissue out and you'll see it preps the next piece. And there you go! A beautiful mason jar tissue holder for your home or as a gift. Thank you for joining me for this Get Crafty project.